it's Alicia here again and today I have another simple easy recipe for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chicken, mushroom, and rice casserole. Now this is another Weight Watcher recipe and um, it's one that we really really enjoyed and so even though we don't do Weight Watchers anymore, we still make it. One of the things I really like about this recipe is it is done in a crock pot which means it's extremely easy. You basically just dump all your ingredients in, set it, and forget it. So I will go ahead and show you what you need to make this and we will get started. Now as I said before, this is a Weight Watcher recipe. It came from Weight Watchers. Um, but I have made several changes to it through the years to make it kind of more what I like. Um, and so I'm going to give you the ingredients and the measurements on those ingredients that I use in my version of this recipe, um, not the original recipe from Weight Watchers. But the changes that I've made to this recipe are not going to affect the point value. Let me get started and I'll show you what you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need two chicken breasts. Then you're gonna need two cups of chicken broth, three quarter cup brown rice, uncooked, about a cup of chopped carrots, about half a pound chopped mushrooms, about three stalks of celery chopped, and a medium red onion chopped, and then here I have about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and then about two teaspoons of minced garlic. And then here is about two teaspoons of Worcester, Worcester, Worcester. <laughs> Worcester sauce, or however it is that you say that, I have no idea. Anyway, um, Worcester sauce. And then last for seasonings, I'm going to use a few grinds of pepper and about a teaspoon of sage. And that is all that you're going to need for the ingredients. I will take you over to the crock pot and show you the next step. Okay, I've got my crock pot here all cleaned and ready to go, and I know it looks a little bit scary, um, but it is, in fact, clean. It just gets a lot of use, so it's kind of uh, stained over the years. But anyway, the first thing you want to do is put in your chicken broth, and then I'm going to just dump the rest of the ingredients in. Okay, the only thing I haven't put in here is the chicken, and before I do that, I'm gonna give this a quick stir. Okay, now I'm just going to take my chicken and kind of just nestle it down in this. And that is it. Now I'm just going to Put the lid on, set it to low heat, and leave it for about seven hours. Now after seven hours, you wanna check your uh, chicken, make sure that it is up to the appropriate temperature. And it looks like I forgot to put my Worcester sauce in. That's just so I had to say Worcester one more time, I guess. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna toss that in there. Doesn't really matter. Um, and now I'm gonna set it and forget it for seven hours. And here's what it looks like cooked. I went ahead and shredded the chicken up. Now the points on this, if you break it into five servings, it's only five points plus points a serving. And this is really, really delicious. It's very filling. And it just makes a great, quick, and easy dinner. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.